Hi, I hope you all enjoyed the story of the Petalengro's daughter. Sally was so cool, right? And she got to be the Petalengro of the whole palace, which is awesome. Can you remember what Petalengro means? That's right. Petalengro is the Romani word for blacksmith. Does anyone know what a blacksmith does? I wonder if you, uh, if you know what a blacksmith does. I think some of you will know, but if you don't know, a blacksmith is a very skilled person who makes things out of metal using lots of fire and heat and different tools. It's a very, very special job and not everybody can do it because you have to really know what you're doing, as you can imagine. But they make lots of different things, including swords and knives and gates and sometimes even lovely candlesticks and things like that. Hmm, I wonder if we can pretend to be different things that a petalengro would make. Can you make shapes with your body? Let's start out with some simple ones first. So, the first shape I would like you to make. Can you make a square with your body. How would you make a square but with your whole body? Maybe you would put your shoulders up like this and your arms like this and maybe you put your legs apart as well so that you're kind of looking very square. I'm going to give you five seconds to make a square with your whole body. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, good job. Okay, let's try something a bit trickier this time. This time, can you make hmm, a triangle with your body? How would you make a triangle with your whole body? Shall we see? Are we to think about all the angles and everything else? Okay, I'm going to give you five seconds again. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Who's got a good triangle? Good triangles, guys. Very nice. All right, let's try something a bit harder. And this time, I'm not going to give you any clues. I want to see how you do. This time, I want you to make a circle with your body. Can you make a circle with your body? Okay, I'm going to give you five seconds again. Think about a circle. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Wow, there's some really good circles out there. Well done, everybody. Very cool circle work. Okay, now we're going to have a little bit of a think about what a petalengro would make and how we can make that shape with our bodies. The first thing I want you to try and make is a sword. Do you remember in the story there was a magical sword that the petalengro's daughter made? Yeah, she made that sword all by herself. So let's see if you can make this shape of a sword. I want you to think about how a sword looks. So it's long and it's pointy at the end, okay? You have five seconds to make a sword. Five, four, three, two, one. Have you made a long pointy sword? Maybe you've made a curvy sword. Maybe you're on the floor, maybe you're standing up, whatever you're doing. Well done. All right, let's try something else that a petalengro makes. Hmm. Oh, here's a tricky one. Can you make the shape of a gate? Oh, that's a tricky one. How do you make the shape of a gate? And I want you to remember that sometimes gates swing as well. So you could be a swinging gate as well if you want to. I'm going to give you five seconds to make that shape. Ready and go. Five, four, three, two, there's some very cool gates there. I can see some long, tall gates. I can see some short gates like this. I can see some swinging gates. Very nice. Lots of different gates, which we like to see. Now we're going to do one more shape. 
this is a very important shape when you're a blacksmith when you're a petalengro this shape is a horseshoe now do you all know what a horseshoe looks like a horseshoe is obviously what you put on the foot of a horse so it has to be like a kind of big semicircle okay so i want you to imagine yourself being a big semicircle and it might be easier to do this one if you're on the floor you have five seconds to turn yourself into a horseshoe shape let's go five four, three, two, one. Ooh, some very good horseshoes out there, guys. Well done, I am very impressed. Now, can you imagine if you are in a forge, how hot it is? because the fire is going all the time because that's how you make your tools so I want us to imagine that we have a very hot forge and you're standing in there so everyone start waving try and get some cold air onto yourself and I want you to imagine that you're hammering away with your hammer That's the noise a hammer makes when it connects with metal. Ready? Ding! 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 And you've made the most amazing horseshoe, okay? But, okay, you're gonna have to take it out of the fire and you're gonna use your tongs. But then, at one point, you put it in your gloves, but it's very, very hot, okay? So, hoo, 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 hoo. I want you to move it from one hand to the other because it's a very, very hot horseshoe. It's just been in the fire. Hoo, 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 hoo. If you're with somebody right now, I want you to practice throwing the hot horseshoe to and from each other. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See how fast you can pass it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And quickly throw in the water. Ooh. Hot hands, blow on your hands. Oh, fair you. Well, that was a bit crazy in the forge, wasn't it? Oh, but we're still very, very hot in this forge. Now I want you to think of something you're going to make in the forge and I don't want you to tell anyone what you're making, I mean just to make it. So imagine something that you're making in the forge, it's got to be something metal, so it could be, uh, it could be like a fork and knife or it could be a spoon, it could be a horseshoe, it could be a lovely box, it could be a key anything made out of metal so i want you to get to work make sure you're making that lovely metal thing ding 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 make sure you get it very carefully with your tongs put it in the water that's the noise the water makes because what you've got is so hot but bring it out oh it's still a bit hot though Move it from hand to hand and place it down. Very good. Now don't forget to blow on your hands. You're gonna take your blacksmith gloves off. Take them off. Very good. Take your goggles off because you would've been wearing goggles. Very dangerous if you don't wear goggles when you do it. Okay, and take your apron off and dust yourself down. Give yourself a good dust down. Okay, and I think we're ready for the next part of our adventure.